Hello there, good morning viewers. Hope you're having a fantastic time. It's your gamer, Ma Ling here. And today on this Minecraft Bedrock tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a very efficient creeper farm. With this method over here, you can get yourself a lot of gunpowder, then string. And as you are going to be making it on an ocean platform, it is also going to give you some bits of bone and fish as well so yeah and i really recommend you to make this in a part that is i mean that has no spawning block within your simulation distance mine is at 10 chunks in this world but you can also have four chunks you can also have six chunks in your simulation distance so make sure you check that out how many simulation distance you have and then make sure you have a spot that is going to be a place that has only your creeper farm within your simulation distance and nothing else and if that is the case then you are going to get the most out of this creeper farm and as you can see over here you can stack this farm as much as you want both horizontally and vertically just like this as you can see right over here you can go as up as you want and also you can make as many of these as you want so without further ado let's get right into the tutorial first off start by placing a chest that is right above the sea level and after you are done with that place a hopper on top of it and then place three magma blocks over here like that and then three of them like this and then three of them for the other two sides as well just like this afterwards just simply fill the entire thing to make a platform after that what you're going to do is come at the straight from this hopper and then place a temporary block over here then a temporary block over here and also one over here and one over here just like this as you can see after you're done with that place seven blocks on this side so one two three four five six and seven and then repeat the same thing for this one this one and that block as well after you are done with the block then what you're going to do is remove the blocks over here the temporary ones and then just fill the entire thing up over here with a platform just like i am going to show you right now When you are done making the platform you are going to end up with something that looks like this after that what you are going to do is place a temporary block over here one block above it remove the temporary block and then just make a make a border over here that is going to circle the entire platform right over here after you are done with this part then what you are going to do is just to grab some water so get yourself a water bucket and then place water sources over here just like this on one side of the platform and then on the opposite side i mean from this side the opposite one place some more water sources over here and then you are going to end up with one two three four and five five blocks over here so with one water source here one over here and one on the middle and then do the same thing for this one as well so one two three four five just like that after you are done with that you place a temporary block over here and then a block above it and then remove this block so that no mobs can get stuck over here however if they die then the item is going to pass through from the one block gap and then end up inside the hopper 
once you are done with that place two blocks over here and then one sticky piston and then one block above it and then seven blocks over here so one two three four five six and seven and then come over here place three blocks just like this and then three blocks on this side and then three blocks on this side after that place seven blocks over here so one two three four five six and seven after that place six blocks one two three four five six and then from here place six more blocks so one two three four five and six and you are going to end up with something that looks like this then place seven redstone dust over here just like this and then place a lever over here so that you can operate the farm i mean turn the farm on and off at will and then come over here place two redstone repeaters at the fourth tick then five more over here i mean six more over here and then two repeaters over here two over here and then six more over here and then two over here and all the repeaters are going to be at the fourth tick after you are done with that place one epsilon dust over here one over here one over here one here here and here and then two right over here just like that and once you are done with that place a temporary block and then a dispenser facing upward and then place I mean, remove the temporary block and then place seven blocks over here so one two three four five six and seven just like that and then come at the opposite side and then place seven more blocks so one two three four five six seven afterwards what you're going to do is just make a diamond shape just how i'm going to be showing you right now after you are done making the diamond shape just like this as you can see right over here tap on this dispenser and then place a water bucket inside and then place a trap door on top of it and then an observer observing that trap door just like this as you can see and then make yourself a diamond shape with trap doors above it just like i'm going to be showing you right now after you are done with that this is one layer entirely complete and all you just need to do is if you want it to have more layers like if you want 10 more layers then you can make 10 more right on top of it and if you're wanting to make 20 layers then you can al always make that you can even go as high as the build limit that's also something you can do and you are actually most welcome to do that actually i most welcomely tell you to make this farm go as high as the build limit and because that's going to be the most efficient way out for this farm so using this command block our all that i'm just going to do is just to make this layer over here clone itself on the top topmost layer and this is the command you guys can see it and then if I just press button another layer pops up and you can make as many layers as you want and yes once you are done with that once you are at the topmost layer of you are going to build let's say you are going to build this many layers and you don't want any more layers all you just need to do is come at the topmost and then just get yourself some labs and then place all of them on top of all of the trapdoors that are over here 
just so that no mobs can spawn over here and reduce the mob cap. And once you are done with that, you can also come over here and in the topmost layer, I mean the uppermost layer, you are not going to be needing any observer. It can be just a normal block, absolutely no problem. Just like that. Oh, wait a second, let me grab a block. Just like that. And the farm is almost complete. All that we are going to be doing now is just to make the redstone of this farm functional and I'm going to be showing you the AFK spot. So come over here and then place a lever and then press on it as long as it, I mean the redstone pulse comes over here and as soon as it comes over here, the third redstone repeater, you are going to press the lever again. So one, two, three and press the lever off. And then you can just remove the lever as it is not, I mean, no longer needed. So after that, what you're going to do, currently the farm is turned off. And if you want to turn the farm on, just simply press on this lever and the farm is going to be good to go. And now then, for the AFK spot, what you're going to do is place one temporary block over here that's going to be straight from that lever. And then one temporary block. And then remove this block. And then what you're going to do is press on escape or on the settings, come at the settings and then what you're going to do is come over here and then see how many simulation distance, I mean what's your simulation distance. If it is on 10 chunks, then what you're going to do is just simply multiply that number with 16. Some people might have at 4 chunks, some people might have it in 6 chunks. That's absolutely no problem. All you're going to do is just multiply 16 with the number of chunks you have in your simulation distance. And the number of blocks that you have is going to be the number of blocks that you are going to go up right from this block. So right now it is at 10 chunks. So 10 into 16 is 160. So go up by 160. So slash pp at the rate p by 160 just like this 160 plus 68 is 160 plus 68 is 228 so this is the spot what you're going to do is the head block at the left head block over here as stone and then simply stand over here and the farm is good to go make sure that you have turned the lever on by the way <laughs> anyway you might not see the farm over here but as technical things go the farm is within your simulation distance and the farm is going to be working completely smoothly there is just one little detail that I forgot to mention on the video and that is right over here you are not supposed to place two redstone dust over here but supposed to place one of them and then place an observer that is going to observe this redstone dust and yep that's the tutorial hope you guys are benefited and enjoyed learning making the paper farm and if you actually did consider subscribing to help me grow and i'll catch you on the next one and if you have any questions about this farm please just contact me on the comment section and i'll simply just answer your questions see ya